and this is my husband Rick, and he has a little bit of what he wants to share as well. Hello, and of course I'm not, I'm always the guinea pig, so uh, <laughs> I said, okay, what you got now? And so I, I started taking it, and uh, you know I used to be an ex football player back in the day, and uh, had some injuries that uh, as I gotten older, I noticed started to uh, you know get worse and worse, and so. Yeah, I was hoping this was going to help with, with, with that. And I've been in a few accidents, uh, three accidents, one rollover. And so had some upper back pain, lower back pain, uh, issues with, uh, with my hands. And, and so as I started taking the product, I uh, started noticing significant difference at about week three. Uh, and, uh, you know, my, my back stopped hurting, uh, my knee pain, my shoulder pain. The pain stopped, stopped. You know, started going away, and so um, I was pretty excited about that. Uh, the biggest thing is, uh, last year around this time, I went and got some hair transplants done uh, on the front section of my head. You know, from the from the, if you cut my head on top and half from the from the middle to the front, I had six thousand grafts done, and I was scheduled to go back and get the back section done, which was pretty much completely bald. Um, well. Surprisingly, throughout this two-month period that the pain went away, my hair grew back in the back <laughs> section. And so uh, that's surprising to me. So I canceled uh, my operation to go uh, here soon. Uh, and I'm going to give it four or five months to see how much more I can grow. So that, that's, that was an exciting thing for me. <laughs> yeah, we've like seen the back of your head here recently. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had uh, I had one girl that walked up to me and pulled the back of my hair. Just to make sure with the <laughs> Just to make sure. Yeah. Uh, well, guys, I want to thank you, Don Lynn, You got anything you want to offer or ask? I, I know I know why the hair thing works, and that's that's oh, a good yeah. thing to point out. It's it's not unusual. I've seen this happen before. If those follicles are still there and they don't have enough redox molecules, they don't have enough signal to make hair, the follicles will still be there, but they won't make hair. You give them enough signals, and then all of a sudden, those follicles then are healthier, they'll start making hair again. That's not unusual. Is the best way to do that, how are you doing that, Rick? Are you putting the gel or the liquid, the, the ACEA redox? Yeah, it was, it was kind of an experiment for me when I first started, you know, I just, I did the two to four ounces, uh, the recommended amount for three weeks. And then, uh, and so I started, you know, say, well, what about the gel? So I started putting the gel twice, once in the morning, once in the afternoon on the thinned out areas, uh, along with spraying the oral three times throughout the day. And uh, I, I started noticing a big, a big jump, a big change in the back section of my head. And so um, it's, it's amazing how thick it's gotten. I can actually, you know, I used to go through my hair like this to feel new plants. And I was like, wow, I got hair again. And so I used to roll my hand to the back, to just feel that nice smooth spot. And now it's weird to feel hair back. But I'm, I'm really excited because people are inspired with my story. And so it, it's a big hit with the um, with the guys, but also, you know, not just guys. It's it's women as well that have problems with hair loss. But that's pretty interesting. So so the follicle don't, it goes dormant then, and wakes up with redox signal. Exactly right. If they if they're reabsorbed, the follicles are no longer there. Of course, you're going to stay bald. All right. But if they're still there, they just don't have enough signals to go ahead and and function. They're still alive. Okay, they have enough signals to stay alive, but not enough to go ahead and make the hair. The same thing goes with diabetes and stuff like that. You know, the, the cells are down there and uh, the beta cells and they don't have enough molecules to make insulin, they're not gonna make insulin. So the, the same principle happens, you know, outside as well as inside. 